Hello, today I'm going to discuss average and average if function in Microsoft Excel. I'm Chris Menard. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a list of accounts receivable, but this could be any type of data. And I want to know what is the average total amount for our accounts receivable equals average open print and just highlight your range control enter there is two thousand dollars that is the average for those seven invoices here's where average if comes in so it wants to know what's the current date so we're going to do a little bit of accounting here I'm going to use the today function equals today open print there's no arguments Today's July 27th. Column B has my invoice dates. Our terms are net 30. So our invoices are due the invoice date plus 30 days. So that invoice was due on June 24th and I'm going to autofill that down. So there's the net 30 terms. So how old is the invoice equals the current date and I'm going to end up auto filling this down the screen so I want to use absolute reference F4 minus not the due date the invoice date that is how old this invoice is that invoice is from May 25th to July 27th is 63 days old so here we go the number of days overdue, our terms are net 30, so in 30 days we should have our money. So that first invoice is 33 days overdue. Auto fill down. I want to point out we have some negative days. So if someone says, what is the average number of days overdue? Eleven, and they come up with eleven using the average function that is incorrect because those negative days are going in there so I'm gonna do three average ifs for you one's gonna have a wild card I'm gonna zoom in just a tad here so here we go equals average if the average if function has three arguments two of them are required range and criteria the third one, average rain, is not required. I don't need it in this first example. I'll need it in the next two. I want to know this range, comma, I'm on the second argument for criteria, which is required. I'm looking for invoices that are greater than zero. That is it. I'm done. I don't need that third argument in this one. 25 days. Let's check that. I'm going to select all the numbers that are greater than zero. I'm using control. Down in the bottom, status bar, it says 25 for the average. So there is your first average if. I did not use the optional argument. Here's your second one. I want to know, in this example, I'm going to pick on the ABC company. Notice ABC has one invoice for 500, a second for 2000, and a third for 500. Again, I use control to select those. Status bar shows 1000. So I want to know what is the average outstanding for ABC company equals average if the range, I'm going to highlight every one of my customers, C7 to C13, comma, what's my criteria? It's ABC. I'm putting that in quotations. It is not case sensitive. Little a, capital B, little c would have worked. Comma, so I'm using this optional argument this time. I need to use it. In bold, it says, what range do you want to average? It says, average range. I'm going to grab the mouse and select D7 to D13. That is it. Control, enter. 
I have 1,000. Let's test it. We already did it, actually. Test it one more time, though. I highlighted the three invoices, 1,000, 1,000. So now I'm going to get fancy with it. If you noticed, I did the average if. Everything's correct. I had to type out the ABC. So what I want to point out is you can reference the cell reference. So I changed the ABC that was in quotes to C15, and I still get 1,000. The advantage of this method is if I try to, if I try to change this to DEF, it works. If I would have left it the first way where I had typed ABC, I would still get the ABC results. But now here comes the issue. Vandalay Industries, that's just a lot to type. And all I really want to do is just type in Vandalay and I get an error message. So that formula was correct for typing out the full name. If you want to do, let me go back to ABC. I'm going to edit the formula. This is pretty cool. I'm going to do a wild card. And again, I'm putting it in quotations. Ampersand, which is concatenate or join. Then after it, I'm going to do another join or concatenate. And I'm going to throw in another wild card. Oops, helps if I can type. So there is your formula. I am joining a wild card to C15 with another wild card. I still should get a thousand for ABC, I do. DEF is still correct. But if you recall earlier, Vandalay by itself did not work. Now it should. 3,000. And it's working because of those wild cards I put in there to reference the cell. That is all I have today for average versus average if. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.